All right, so resistance is a measure of how difficult it is to push current through an electric circuit. Really, it's like a property that depends on the type of material, uh, cross-sectional area, and temperature. Um, so what we can do is we can rearrange Ohm's law, which is V equals IR, just to get our definition of resistance, which is R is equal to V over I. So R is resistance and the unit is in ohms. V is voltage, the unit is in volts. And I is current and the unit is in amps. So in other words, when we're talking about the units, we have one ohm is just equal to one volt per amp. So typically we talk about materials as conductors if they have a very low resistance. And we talk about insulators being materials that have a very high resistance. On the extreme end of things, um, a short circuit would be considered uh, basically zero resistance or zero ohms of resistance. And an open circuit would be considered to have like uh, infinite resistance. But yeah, resistance also depends on temperature. So if we have some resistance, let's call it R0, and that's happening at a temperature of T0, then if the temperature changes, the resistance of that material will change as well. So if we have a new temperature and a new resistance, the new resistance R would be equal to R0 plus alpha times R0 times T minus T0, where alpha is just the temperature coefficient of resistance of a material. And alpha actually also varies with temperature, so it's only applicable for a small range of temperatures. Um, but generally in the problems that we'll be doing in this course, we're not going to really consider temperature changes, so we won't have to worry about this. But at some point, maybe in a circuits course or a thermodynamics course, you might be seeing this term alpha, and basically that's, you know, this is where it comes from. But yeah, let's draw a really simple circuit with one single voltage source and a single resistor. And if we were given the voltage of the voltage source, let's say it's a nine volt battery, and also given the current, let's say the current is equal to two amps. It's going this way, current likes to flow from the positive terminal of a battery around to the negative terminal, then we'd be looking for what the resistance is um, in units of ohms. So we can really easily set up our expression. Resistance is just equal to the voltage drop across that element divided by the current that's flowing through it. Now in this course, we're going to consider wires to have zero resistance. Um, it's not necessarily true as wires do have some resistance, you know, it depends on their their length and their cross-section in real life. But in this course, and basically any introductory circuit analysis course, you're going to assume that they have no resistance. So basically the, the voltage doesn't drop from this point to this point here. And then same on the bottom, the voltage here is nine volts less than the voltage at the positive terminal. And this is going to be electrically common all the way over to here. So we're seeing a voltage drop across that resistor that's going to also be equal to nine volts. So what we do is we plug that in as our voltage drop across the element is nine volts and divide that by the current that's flowing through it which is two amps and we put the current in as a positive as it is entering through the positive side and out the negative side that has to do with the passive sign convention of circuit analysis but basically it's just going to keep nice positive values for us so 9.5 volts divided by two amps that is just 4.5 volts per amp and volts per amp is ohms, so that is equal to 4.5 ohms. So by putting a 4.5 ohm resistor in the circuit, it's going to limit the amount of current. So really it's, it forces the battery, the nine volt battery, to only provide two amps of current. Whereas if it wasn't here, it would, you know, it would, essentially it would be able to like ideally force an unlimited amount of current through the short circuit. So really what the resistor is doing is it's limiting the amount of current um, in the circuit compared to the open circuit version. And really what the resistor is doing is it's just heating up and it's uh, dissipating energy in the form of heat. So we can think of resistance as something similar to friction where friction opposes things from happening and in the process of that generates heat. Same with resistance. Uh, resistance basically opposes the current and in that, in that opposition it creates heat that is basically dissipated. But yeah, that's just a really quick introduction to what resistance is. Just know that it's in units of ohms, and one ohm is equal to one volt per amp. All right, that's it for this video, and I will see you in the next one, and we will quickly talk about resistivity.